Hi, hello, welcome back to home school. This is your class 10 mathematics. We are in the revision schedule of most expected questions in mathematics. Today in this session, we are going to discuss from circles chapter. There are two very important theorems. Among these two theorems, one theorem is compulsory for exam. So those two theorems I am going to discuss now in an easy manner. Let's see the first theorem from this chapter. And you can see the statement and a figure there. The tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. What is a tangent? A tangent is a line which touches the circle at only one point. Right? Tangent. Look here. XY is a tangent touching at a point P to the circle with center O. Then this point we say it as a point of contact. O is a center, X, Y is a tangent. Then what about secant? Secant is also a line. Look here, secant is a line like this it passes. That means it touches the circle at two points. It is also a line which passes through the circle touching at two points. But now in this theorem we are going to discuss about tangent. Let me split this statement and we are going to understand it. The tangent x, y is a tangent at any point of a circle at P of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Once again repeat the statement along with me. The tangent drawn at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. Right? Start writing the data. What is given in this theorem? Given a circle with center O. Circle with center O. And still what you can see x, y is a tangent. x, y is a tangent. From a point tangent from a point P to the circle. Right from a point P you can write. Next. What to prove? To prove. OP perpendicular to XY. OP perpendicular to XY. Construction. What we are going to prove in this theorem? In this theorem we are going to prove radius is perpendicular to the tangent through the point of contact. That means OP is perpendicular to XY. Next, construction. Do we need any construction? Yes. What construction? Let me mark a point Q on anywhere on the tangent other than point P. So, let me mark the point Q here. Right? That only right. Mark. Mark a point Q on the tangent XY. Tangent xy other than other than at point P. Mark Q on the tangent other than at the point P. Right? So next join O Q. Join O Q. First thing what you are going to do? Mark a point Q on the tangent other than P point. Right? Mark anywhere on the tangent and then join OQ. Proof. How we are going to prove this? Let me write a statement. Q is a point. Q is a point on the tangent. Q is a point on the tangent x, y other than other than 
point of other than point of contact p so so q lies outside the circle outside the circle let's read the line again q is a point on the tangent xy other than point of contact p so q lies outside the circle where is q lying q is lying outside the circle let let oq let oq intersects intersect the circle at any one letter you take oq intersecting the circle at r let me take okay now what we can see oq is equal to or plus rq oq is equal to or plus rq implies what it can imply oq is greater than or oq is greater than or see a oq greater than or that implies oq is also greater than op why i am saying op op or are the radii of a same circle suppose if oq is greater than or means oq is also greater than op therefore therefore op is the therefore op is the shortest distance shortest distance to the tangent from the center of a circle from the center o right so finally what i can end up here if op is a shortest distance therefore op is perpendicular to the tangent that is op is perpendicular to xy therefore hence it is proved let's have a quick recap of this theorem see the statement here the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact what is given data given a circle with center o x y is a tangent from a point p to prove op perpendicular to x y construction mark a point q on the tangent x y other than point p anywhere you can mark the point q join oq proof we have started our proof by saying that q is a point on the tangent x y other than point of contact p q is a point on the tangent x y other than point p point of contact p so q lies outside the circle if q is lying outside the circle do you know that tangent touches the circle at only one point what is that point p is only that point then q is lying outside the circle q cannot touch the circle right therefore q is lying outside the circle let us assume a letter there by saying that let oq intersect the circle at r now oq is equal to or plus rq that implies oq is greater than or if oq is greater than or it implies oq is greater than op why op or are the same radii of a circle therefore op is the shortest distance to the tangent from the center o op is the shortest distance to the tangent from the center o therefore op is perpendicular to xy hence it is proved so quickly take a paper and start writing this theorem now itself now let's see the second theorem statement 
the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal once again the lengths of tangents pq length pr length see here p is external point pq pr are the tangents o is a center the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal what we need to prove tangents length equal we are going to prove so say along with me the statement again the lengths of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal data what is given in this given a circle with center o given a circle with center o right and what all you know p is an external point p is an external point and pq comma pr pq comma pr are the tangents are the tangents next to prove what we are going to prove here we are going to prove that length of the tangents are equal that is pq is equal to pr construction do we need any construction yes what is that join join oq join or join op that only right here join op oq and or join op join oq join or proof consider consider two triangles here consider triangle oqp and triangle orp i can say these two triangles are right angles how from first theorem we know that tangent is always perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact by that i can say if it is perpendicular then it will be 90 degree there you can see two right triangles okay anyhow you can write right triangle or normal triangle also you can write now what is that angle angle o q p is equal to angle o r p angle o q p is equal to angle o r p by by first theorem by theorem we can say that or you can write these two angles is equal to 90 degrees also you can write okay and next compare observe properly o q is equal to o r what is o q o q is a radius o r is also a radius o q and o r are the radius of a same circle therefore they are equal write the reason here radius radius of same circle radius of same circle is the reason then op op for this triangle and also for this triangle that means op is equal to op common now observe the two triangles carefully right angle hypotenuse side right angle hypotenuse side what i can say the two triangles are congruent triangle oqp congruent to triangle orp that is by which rule by rhs rule i can say the two triangles are congruent if they are congruent if they are congruent by cpct by cpct i can equate remaining sides therefore therefore pq is equal to pr hence it is proved 
That's it. Very simple theorem to understand and easy to score 3 marks. So, let's have a quick recap of this theorem. Statement. The lengths of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Given a circle with center O, P is a external point. And what we have written? P, Q, P, R are the tangents. To prove P, Q is equal to P, R. Proof. Consider the two small right triangles or two triangles you say. Triangle O, Q, P and triangle O, R, P. This is right angle. This is also right angle. By first theorem what I can say? Tangent is always perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. So this angle equal to this angle equal to 90 or by theorem you can write and OQ is equal to OR. Radius of a same circle. Right? And OP is equal to OP. It is a common side for the two triangles. Therefore, the two triangles are congruent by RHS rule. Right angle, hypotenuse side rule, I can say the two triangles are congruent. If they are congruent by CPCT, I can equate their tangents length. That is PQ is equal to PR. Hence it is proved. So in this session, what I have done, the two theorems are very important. One theorem is compulsory for three marks. So now immediately write this theorem without saying the two very important theorems from this chapter. Either of the theorem you are going to get for three marks in your annual examination. So do practice these theorems carefully. With this I am going to end my session. In our next session we are going to meet with another topic. Until that keep watching. Thank you all.